All right, so we're just gonna start with kind of just a bit of intro and a bit of background. So assuming that you learned the graphical method for two variable LP models first, we kind of want to, sh to discuss it a little to see why we next look into the simplex method, especially for large linear programming models. So at the top, it just basically says, once you've been exploring the graphical method for a while, you will see that um, basically any optimal points will be found at the corners of the feasible region. So I'm assuming you kind of understand the diagram, the diagram on top where it's, I've drawn a 2D, a 2D LP, just a rough example. Using the graphical method found the feasible region and usually when you maximize it, or even if you minimize it, you will see that the corners of the feasible region will effectively, well, the optimal solution will be found at one of these corners of the feasible region. So. You, you might think, okay, well, for larger problems, can we just try to find all the corners? Can we just test all the corners to see um, to, to see whether it is possible to actually find the optimal solution? And technically, yes, in a theoretical sense. However, practically, it is not, it is not something that can be computed. Well, when the problem gets larger and larger and larger, there's going to be so many more corners to the point that it's not going to be computationally feasible or it or in other words you would just say if you wanted to search every single solution it would take far too much time for large problems and so and to kind of give you a rough example when you say if you've got an lp for n plus m variables and m constraints then we have um n plus n choose m so hopefully you know your combinatorics or or in this case, in this case, it converts to an expression in terms of factorials, whereas, whereas large LPs can just have hundreds and thousands of constraints and variables, and and the the number of solutions you have to compute would be far too many. So, in general, it follows that we need a better and more efficient method, because effectively, what effectively you also you will have also notice at some point, like maybe not explicitly, is that. You can discard some solutions because they're too small, and so what? And this is where this is where we segue into the simplex method, as it um in in terms of see, seeing how it performs better than the graphical method, and how it effectively that each in every step of the simplex method the solution will always improve. So that way we don't have to check all the solutions. We can just make sure that we're always going to choose a solution that's better than the last one. So we'll look at the simplex method in the next video.